This video is basically about decrypting a piece of data using a private key. If you are watching these videos in sequence, you know that we acquired the private key in step 3 and the EFEK in step 2. Here we are just going to decrypt the EFEK using the private key. The result of this decryption will leave us with the FEK or the file encryption key. Once you have the FEK, it is trivial to decrypt an encrypted file's contents. Let's get started. We now have the reversed EFEK from Cyberchef in the downloads directory. I am also going to add the private key file into this and I am going to use OpenSSL to combine the private key and the EFEK in order to extract the FEK. This is the OpenSSL command that we are going to use to decrypt the EFEK. It has six parts to it. First is the name of the command itself which is OpenSSL. Next is the name of the module that we are going to use which is RSA Util. We are using RSA Util because the private key is a RSA 2048 bit key. This is followed by the operation that we need to perform which is decryption. The next two inputs are the parameters to the decryption routine which in our case will be the EFS private key and the EFEK. The last argument is the output file where the decrypted EFEK will be placed. Now I am going to run this command and we can see that it ran successfully. In the working directory, we can also see that it has created a new file called fekdecrypted.bin. This file is supposed to contain the FEK and it has a file size of 48 bytes or 384 bits. However, when we ran the cipher command on the file, we saw that the file is encrypted using an AES 256 bit key. So why is the size of this FEK 384 bits or 128 bits more than what we expect to see? A reasonable assumption would be that this might contain not just the FEK but also a few other header fields which take up 128 bits of space. So I began searching for the structure of the FEK and found the answer in Microsoft's documentation of EFS RPC. So what is this EFS RPC? You can think of EFS RPC as a protocol that works on top of SMB. So it is typically used when you want to access encrypted files over a network. The EFS RPC specification contains a page describing the structure of the EFEK. Now the name might be a bit misleading because we don't talk about structure of encrypted data but this is rather the structure of the EFEK before it gets encrypted. As you can see here it has five fields. The first four fields are four bytes each and this is followed by a FEK. So with this understanding I'm going to open up the decrypted FEK and remove the first 16 bytes from that. This will leave me with the file encryption key, which is the AES 256 bit key. I'm going to copy this as hex text, paste it in notepad, remove the spaces and make it into a single line. So with all this effort, we now have the file encryption key or the FEK. This is the key that was used to encrypt the data attribute of the file. Now that we have the FEK, in the next video, we will see how to decrypt the data attribute using this FEK.